Welcome to DSO LabSco Pattern Analysis. And for those of you who are purists, yes, a DSO is a LabSco. But we put them both up there because people refer to both of them. What this program is going to do, we're going to try to take the information that Doc Nall and Bill Peak have been using for the last 20 years to teach thousands of you in classes to fix cars. We're going to focus on the lab scope because we find the lab scope is one of the least utilized instruments out there. Many, many times when we come in to help technicians, they have come so close to identifying a problem if they just looked at a scope pattern. So let's talk about when we're going to use this. Every time you go to one of these subjects that we're going to have in here, we're going to tell you when to use the test. That'll help you decide when it's the right thing to do. You're going to use a scope when your routine diagnostics fail to identify a problem. Once you've spent 30 minutes, you found something that's time critical and you can't understand it and you can't identify it, you need to pull out the big gun, the DSO lab scope. Give you detailed instructions on how to identify problems by analyzing patterns for the major systems of engine control. This will solve most of the problems. Now, nothing ever works 100% of the time, but we can solve a whole bunch of them right here. And we're going to do this by going beyond a bunch of good and bad patterns. Everybody wants to say, show me good patterns, show me bad patterns, then I know what's wrong. You'll be shown how to get a diagnostic direction by identifying the critical elements of all the scope patterns for the major systems. What does that mean? What's a diagnostic direction? We need to explain that. Many times when we've gone out to help technicians, they've made a reading and we said, well, why didn't you stop there? Well, I didn't know what it meant. Well, a diagnostic direction tells you when you get a reading, it's going to tell you where to go. But to get a diagnostic direction, you must understand in depth what it is you're looking at. Take the time to help you identify the critical elements of all the patterns so that you know what those patterns mean and you can get a diagnostic direction. And you'll go directly to the problem when you find it. Now, the training is broken down by major components. So you can go directly to the information you need to speed through the diagnostics of a specific problem. You've got menus. You can go look at secondary ignition. You can look at primary ignition. You can look at injectors. You can look at fuel pumps. Whatever you need to look at. But you're going to go look at that specific things and not have to look at the whole world. You don't have to go through a long four-hour training course. But in truth, you need information right when the information is needed. This is a diagnostic training program. If you need to learn how to set scope controls, use the MPC program for DSO lab scope operation. Now we have a challenge for you. What we'd like for you to do is to quake a quick look at pattern analysis for a problem you had recently to see how this program will help you work faster and smarter. Once you've tried your routine diagnostics and you couldn't identify it, take the time to do a real diagnosis. And if you do this right and don't spend all day, remember, sometimes we've gone out on problems and found a guy that had been recently we had a problem where a car had been in two shops and a technician had worked on it late in the evening the evening before it seemed confusing because they made some assumptions 15 minutes with a lab scope we identified the problem now two shops had already worked on the car and a technician already wasted an evening we call these profit robbers they drain your profitability you make your profit by getting 80 percent of the cars or something like that out your door quickly this program is going to help you with the remaining 20 percent when things are harder than normal and this is the answer that will help you work through those problems.